Talladega Day. The 88 car will go to the tail end. Also back there, adding insult to injury is the 20 car. Too fast coming on pit road. Denny Hanlon will have a long way to go as well. Green flag. Kevin Harvick will lead him down. Kyle Busch, Scott Speed, Carl Edwards, and Biffle, the top five. Carl Edwards sliding on the inside of the 99 car to take the spot away, and he'll see if he can keep the door open long enough for Greg Biffle to get there. It looks like Speed's got a good run off the corner, though. Pulls all the way even with Carl, even ahead of him getting in the corner. Yeah, that's that high line that we talked about in the countdown show that uh, a lot of these guys utilizing with this new progressive banking, it really opens that up. Well, we, we heard him talking to or saw him talking to Dale Earnhardt Jr. about that high line because he's not used to running up there, but he's doing a good job right here. Well, did they get the 88 car fixed with all the damage? Uh, I don't think so. That We're hearing they may have a tire rub on the uh, Brad Keselowski machine. Let's watch the car go in the corner. Yep, left yeah. front. Definitely got some uh, some issues there they're going to have to address. They're going to have to keep working on this car. They're probably going to end up losing some laps and uh, have to get in here and work on it. going away, I think. At 10-4, a lot less smoke that time. You can see there, Carl Edwards didn't make that pass on Scott Speed and actually cost him another spot as Brian Vickers went by. Well, they're... They have high, Brad. He got one coming there, one they're... coming there. Caution's out, caution's out. Slow down there, slow down there. I'll get you down here. He's slowing away down. Now this is the problem when you think a tire a tire rub's going to go away. They hardly ever do, and uh, they had a rub and it cut that left front tire down. Well, the day goes from bad to worse for Brad Keselowski, and that's sort of been the story of his 2009 season. Daytona contact with the wall again at California, and now twice today in the first 15 laps. Started to head back to the garage area. Now we'll think better of it and bring it out. Here's what happened a moment ago. You can see that left front tire just goes, and uh, nothing Brad can do but ride it to the wall. This was supposed to be a championship season, and it may be yet for Brad Keselowski. Oh, my. He will not forget his latest trip to Las Vegas. When you open up the Las Vegas Motor Speedway record books, the name Mark Martin is very prominent, especially in this nationwide series. Three times he's been to Victory Lane here. That was the first one. That's a little while ago. Uh, it didn't seem to matter what the color on the car was. Didn't even seem to matter what the make of the car was. If Mark got behind the wheel of it here at Vegas, he went to Victory Lane. That one for Jack Roush. This one for Junior Motorsports, uh, Dale Jr. and Rick Hendrick. And that is the defending winner of this race, Mark Martin, who joins Brad and I in the ESPN Pit Studio when you're not racing in these races are you one of the people that just sits there and watches them to try and see what you see for sunday absolutely <laughs> yeah. i'm a fan man yeah. I, I watch every race the, uh, the this racetrack you've had so much success at over the years before they reconfigured it now that they have reconfigured it you ever been able to put your finger on what it is about this place that's just suited you no you know you, had, you, you different drivers have better results at different places and this is one of those places that you know i've gotten a lot of good results from i liked the old racetrack i wish they hadn't of uh, reconfigured but the racetrack is really starting to get good right now and uh, my car feels great and, and and i look forward to the race tomorrow i think it's going to be a great race well, you you know, I've thrown the albatross already around your neck this year. I've picked you to win the championship. So <laughs> you got to deal with that, but that's nice. okay. That's all right. High yeah. expectations. Absolutely. <laughs> Will we ever see you back in the Nationwide Series running the hot rod around again? Uh, absolutely. I'll be in the uh, Lipton Ice T uh, number five car at uh, Richmond in May. Wonderful. So uh, Wonderful. I'm excited about that. I only have one race on the docket this year. Would like to have more, but that's uh, that's the number that we got this yeah, year. Yeah, great. Is, is what it is under circumstances, right? Uh, let's talk about about this race that we're going to watch unfold today I was asking you during the commercial break about the bumps on this racetrack DJ and Andy have mentioned the bumps and we see a lot of these drivers seem to have their hands full in these cars around the racetrack why ever since they repaved this place uh, the bumps in one were severe and you know I don't think they're getting worse I think the setups we run just you know really magnify the problem and they are huge going into one and that's a good thing because we've worked really hard and I think that uh, you know with our uh, number five car I think we've got them riding the bumps better than most down there yeah. uh, there may be a few that are, are getting around a little better but uh, we're definitely 
I ran around a lot of race cars in practice, and I outran most of them. There you go. Mark, uh, starting, where's my lineup here for tomorrow's race? No, that's today's hey. race. There's tomorrow. Hey, hey, thank you. I was looking at today's race, and I saw the five car, and I said, no, that's not it. Uh, that's tomorrow. <laughs> what kind of race will we see tomorrow? What do you think will happen tomorrow? I, I think this race is going to be awesome. Yeah. I think the racetrack is so ready for our cars. Um, you know, I think the nationwide race will be awesome, but I think that the cup race is even going to be better. Really, uh, I think the racetrack will widen out today in the nationwide race, and, uh, and, and the, the cars, the COTs really need that. And it was already widening out uh, two grooves today, and actually the preferred groove was in the middle of the racetrack. So um, that makes for interesting racing when the preferred groove isn't on the bottom. Yeah. And uh, I think it's going to be fun. Awesome. I want to, want to talk to you a little bit more about tomorrow's race and what you're seeing in today's race. If you hang with us for a couple minutes, we're getting ready for a restart. Uh, while they're working on Brad Keselowski's 88 car back in the garage area, never a good sign. Let us head upstairs and uh, get the restart, Doc. Getting set to go back to green here. Thanks, guys. We'll look forward to visiting with Mark here in just a moment. Kevin Harvick will uh, lead him down. He has been the second leader today. There have only been two. He and pole sitter Scott Speed, but the guy right behind Harvick, Kyle Busch, has it in his mind to make it three leaders before this lap is up. He's going to be digging hard. You can see Harvick, though, getting off the corner real well. Got a good jump on the start. Scott Speed's still there in that third spot. We heard him talk about that he had a little bit of a tight situation with his race car uh, here early. And that doesn't surprise me because he qualified so well, and generally uh, that's going to happen uh, in that situation. But he's been able to stay right there in the top five, and uh, they'll be able to take a little bit of that tightness out whenever they do make a pit stop. He's hanging right in there. I mean, he see he's running up on the racetrack a little bit, which I think is fitting his car setup. Uh, you see Kyle Busch now right on the bottom of the racetrack trying to work underneath Kevin Harvick. Yeah, and you, as we showed then, we were talking about those bumps. Here goes uh, Kyle Busch trying to make a pass for the lead. Bottom we'll see of the if Kevin Harvick holds him off on that outside. I believe he'll be able to do that. Oh, Kyle Busch loses it. Spins oh. right up in front of Scott Speed hard who hammers him hard. All right, it's Kelvin. Brendan, Brendan Gaughan Gaughan. spinning. Justin Allgaier down pit road, the rookie, avoiding the crash. That was almost what we saw Denny Hamlin do. That car just snapped around. You just have to be so careful. You get on the inside with these cars. They're so aero-sensitive along with the bumps, and you have to drive them so hard, get so much gas to them, uh, just you lose traction quickly, and that's exactly what we saw there from Kyle Busch. You know, Kevin Hart just doing all he could to stay on the outside, and that kind of put... Uh, Kyle Busch in a little difficult situation getting off the corner there where his car is pretty loose. There is no home field right, advantage. Busch gets per race too early. That's my fault. For Kyle Busch, let's show you again what happened here on the inside of the racetrack, inside of Harvick coming in turn four. And you can see he got that left front tire down on uh, the white line there, and that'll make the car turn just a little bit better, and that just got him loose. He lost an arrow because the car was on the outside of him, and uh, we heard Kyle say there he just racing a little bit too hard for that p uh, point in time of the race, and uh, it was his fault. That was a hard lick, too, and just a tough break for Scott Speed, just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Only one top ten finish in five starts at this racetrack for Kyle Busch, and that was second a couple of years ago. Otherwise, his average finish is uh, 20th. And that will not help the average. Scott Speed had nowhere to go, and he comes up and slaps the wall and the 18 car. Brendan gone spinning down across. Looks to be undamaged. Caution number three on the day. This kind of hard impact will bring out the red flag for repairs here at Las Vegas. Back in a moment. Judgment Week continues on ESPN tonight from the Pac-10 Conference. That potent UCLA Bruin offense against rival California. Saturday primetime presented by DirecTV as part of Judgment Week on ESPN. 9 o'clock Eastern time for more information. Log on to ESPN.com. Red flag is out because of heavy damage and uh, Pick up of some of the debris on the racetrack. There's what's left of the 18 car, a brand new Toyota entering today. And there is the pole sitter's car, the 99 car, Michael Walter, racing another brand new car that will need some serious repairs. Now, it has been judgment day already for two of our series championship contenders, one of them now standing by with Mike Massaro. Yeah, and of course, we're talking about Brad Keselowski, Doc, who was involved in an earlier uh, incident. Brad, what happened? 
Uh, you know, the, the 20 cars spun out there and uh, side by side. And these cars uh, at this style of racetrack, just too line sensitive, too out of control. And if you're not right in the line, you just you're gonna wreck. And uh, you know, the one car is right beside me. We lifted, and we both uh, we both got sideways from lifting. You just the way these cars drive. So. Um, not really his fault. I, I don't know what I could have done differently. Uh, you know, it's just the way these cars are, and that's unfortunate. This is a great, great Klondike Chevrolet, and it's tore up. You know, we've had three great race cars to start the season, and uh, just can't seem to close the deal. But uh, my, my team has done an awesome job, and it's certainly no fault of theirs. Just uh, a little bit of racing luck, and uh, man, when it turns around, though, I know we'll be good. I know we'll we'll get up there and run up front. And Doc, uh, he has a pretty torn up race car, but they are working on it. They're going to try to get him back out there on the track. They will get that car back out. Got to believe you'll be back on the racetrack right now, being shown in 26th position in the points. We have completed 22 laps here in the Samstown 300. Just joined our coverage. We have had three caution flags and now a red flag here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Life on the road.